coral bleaching has become a major concern in a warming climate. And while coral bleaching doesn't always mean a death sentence, without the algae that give the reefs such vibrant colors, coral can't survive for very long on their own. We know it's happening all over the world. But until now, our knowledge of the geographic extent of mass coral bleaching has been incomplete. A UBC-led research team is trying to change that. Simon Donner is the Associate Professor in the Department of Geography at UBC and lead author of the study that was just recently published. He says that as much as bleaching events do make the news, especially the big ones like the Great Barrier Reef last year, most events actually go unreported. So I've been working with uh, students for a number of years to put together a, a, a new sort of comprehensive database of all of the reports of coral bleaching that have happened um, in the past, basically. And as a result, we have 79% more reports than in the original database. There's about 8,000. To build the database, the researchers scoured academic journals, government documents, and other sources for reports of coral bleaching missing from an existing voluntary database commonly used by scientists. Then they personally contacted local experts in places where they suspected coral bleaching had occurred. Most of the new reports are from developing nations where monitoring isn't as available. The researchers also found two-thirds of the new reports show moderate to severe bleaching. The database will not only help scientists more accurately assess changes in the frequency of mass coral bleaching, it'll also help predict future bleaching as well. Because this is going to be really important to understand what coral reefs are going to look like in the future, to what extent they're going to be able to respond to climate change, you know, and what, what sort of interventions humans can make. You know, on the local level to try to, to try to protect reefs a little bit from bleaching, but also what's, what it's going to look like if we don't do something to reduce the world's greenhouse gas emissions. If oceans continue warming at the current rate for the rest of the century, it's likely that we won't have many corals left. About a quarter of the ocean's biodiversity exists on coral reefs, and people depend on them too for food, income, and protection from rising seas. Donner encourages everyone to contribute to the open source database, which you can find online. The team will continue to expand the database and add new bleaching observations since 2010, as well as backfill the database with older missing reports. And now, you're Science Smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.